Nikki, is it worth worth wearing an FFP3 mask or an N95, a, 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 a really good um, a mask to reduce the risk of infections like COVID? Do you wear an FFP3? I mean, this is as she says, on the plane. On the plane, sorry. And so what I would say is actually being on the aeroplane itself is generally pretty safe. They have the HEPA filters, which are the very good... Uh, filters that you have in a in a hospital theatre that filters out the air. So unless you have someone sitting directly next to you or perhaps right in front of you that turns around and coughs in your face, your risk on the plane is small. It's more likely to be the risk from touching surfaces and then eating or in the airport, which is an essentially a big hangar of people standing around in yeah, massive boxes. masses gathering. So I don't feel strongly about wearing an FFP3 mask on a plane. I think uh, if you were feeling very anxious or had a medical reason to really uh, be concerned, it may be that airport transport or that public transport that you're wanting to think about your risk. There may be some patients who are very vulnerable yep. to particular airborne infections where um, they may want to, to reduce that risk. Yes. But the plane, basically, a, a modern jetliner has some of the cleanest air. Yeah. Particularly, the, even the newest aircraft have some of the cleanest air of anywhere, anywhere you yeah. go. Yeah. And people make the mistake of going, I got on the plane and then I got sick. It's actually, I was in the airport and I was on a busy uh, tube on the way to the airport and then I got yes, sick. Yes, early in the morning, yeah. panicked, slightly yeah. immunocompromised by missing a night's sleep packing. 